today's project diary, I will teach you how to grow sweet potato slips from food waste. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to grow some sweet potato slips. Now growing sweet potatoes isn't the same as growing normal potatoes. You can't just chip them and put them in the ground. You actually have to grow a slip. Um, and it's not easy. Uh, I've seen other videos online um, of people trying to do this with the whole potato. So I'm going to try this with a, uh, some food scraps. And here's how to do it. So I'm not going to waste the whole potato. Instead I'm going to cut a few inches off the top and bottom and use the rest of it later on in tonight's dinner. Now sweet potatoes aren't a real potato at all. They don't belong to the same nightshade family as other potatoes. Instead they belong to the morning glory family which means they need lots of heat and good sunlight. Now sweet potatoes are really popular in Central and South America, also the Caribbean. They can also be called yams and kumara. So once you've cut the ends off your sweet potatoes, you just need to find yourself a tray or anything that will hold between two and three centimeters of water. Then all you need to do is place each section of the sweet potato on the tray and add water until it's about a quarter of the way up of each piece. Now as I said before, these can be really difficult to grow, but as long as you've got the right conditions, it should be easy. Just make sure these are placed somewhere with lots of sunlight and really warm. Ideally, you're looking for temperatures above 20 degrees Celsius or 70 degrees Fahrenheit throughout this growing period. Now as long as you've got the right conditions, you should see these start sprouting in less than a week. You may also see some small roots trying to emerge. Here they are again two weeks later. Again at three weeks. And here they are again four weeks in. Now here they are five weeks later. Now you can see one is grown a lot quicker than the other, but don't worry about this at all. Here they are again at six weeks. Now around the seven week mark, I have noticed that the leaves have started to go a bit yellow. This is down to not getting enough sunlight. So here at eight weeks, I decided that the curtain was causing too much of a shadow, so I decided to take it down to see if it improved conditions. Nine weeks in you can definitely see that one was more successful than the other and that taking the curtain down has allowed it to get enough sunlight so all the leaves are pointing upwards and it's looking a lot more healthy. As you can see the root system's quite strong on this one. The other one is a little bit slow but it's catching up and forming leaves. It is really difficult monitoring the temperature of these and if you've been following my channel since the beginning you know Project Diaries is based at my granddad's house and I only get time to do these projects in between caring for him. Typically the weekend I decide to take him away, England has a heat wave so a lot of these leaves have been burnt off by the sun. But you can see new slips starting to form here but what I'm going to do is just snip off the ones that are ready and keep these growing for a later date. So as you can see there is a lot of leaf damage on these. But these should be fine, I don't think it's too bad and they should still be able to photosynthesize and lots of energy into these. Now if you are struggling keeping a higher temperature for these, I have come up with a simple solution. If you get yourself a large drinking bottle and just cut off the bottom, it acts as a propagator. This should increase the temperature for a minimum of 4 to 6 degrees. I tried this technique with this one 5 days ago and as you can see it's already passed my 2 week mark as I did previously. Using a plastic water bottle will give you the height and allow you to use this for up to 5-6 to six weeks through the growing process. As soon as the slips start touching the top of the bottle, just remove it but make sure you keep the slips in a nice well lit warm area. Now we haven't got the right temperatures outside yet so get yourself a plastic cup. Now what I'm going to do is just trim off these slips and try to grow a root system. Now I can treat these slips like a normal cutting and grow roots out of them. So all I need is a few inches of water in the cup. This will also delay the slips going into the ground which is perfect because it could be up to 3 or 4 weeks before we start getting decent summer temperatures. Now get yourself a sterilised pair of scissors or cutting tool and cutting as close to the base as possible just snip them off. Now ideally you want each slip to be at least 12 to 15 inches long before you cut it. Then just place the tip in the water. This will help it survive over the next month or so and it will also start growing roots. Now I'm just going to top this water up. Now keep an eye on this over the next couple of weeks. If the water level goes down, just add some more. Also, much like growing avocado seeds, if you let algae grow on the inside, it will kill this slip. So change the water regularly if it starts going green. Now all the nodules on this slip will start growing some roots, but as they're not ready to go in the ground yet, I will do a follow-up video later on in the year when I can plant these. 
But in the meantime, I really hope this video has inspired you and given you the confidence to try this at home. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Good luck growing your own. And if you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future videos, don't forget to subscribe now. Here are some links to some of my other videos. And if you've tried this or any of my other projects, I'd love to see your progress. So please post some photos on my Facebook gardening group. Links to all of my social media pages are in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.